All right. Shalom, all praise to the Most High. It's only begotten Son, STL Israelites, right back at it. As usual, the ancient world. Bro, you ride with spirit led today. You want to go over who is Israel. We're going to go ahead and bang some pictures early in the film. You can understand what we're talking about here. This is this is biblical, this is uh ancient archaeology of what the Israelites look like according to history. Again, this book is called The Ancient World. Look at those locks and those birds. You can't get a whole bunch, a nation of people to look like us, and then the day you know them is Steven Spielberg. No. Some, somebody lying, hold that for me, y'all. Right there. And this right here is called Picture History of Jewish Civilization. These ain't comic books. See that? That's the problem. My people don't want to do any type of research. But trip off this. Trip off this. The Hebrews of the biblical period. Children of Israel. Held captive in Egypt. See that? So shots fired at you Egyptologists saying the Bible ain't accurate. That it's not a historical book. I'll also show you a few more things. Look at these jokes of iron around these slaves. This one right here. Ramsey's Temple. Who are these slaves with these yokes of iron on their neck? Like we about to get into when we read some of these curses. We're gonna start off in. Leviticus 26 is where we're gonna start. Verse 14, you see that boy? Mm -hmm. Them yokes of iron? Mm -hmm. It says right here, it says the thousands of war captives. We need Exodus chapter one as well. The thousands of war captives who were transformed into slaves made it possible for the Egyptian kings to implement their feats of engineering. Chain captives are shown on these painted clay facing plaques from a building erected by Ramses II. That was a pharaoh in Egypt, right? At the time of our exodus out of Egypt, in honor of the king's brave warriors from the period of the 19th dynasty. Look at it again. So it ain't just, you know, we just reading the Bible and we, should, and we just thought that it sounded like us. We went and got the research as well. So you Egyptologists, you Ray Hagen flunkies, ain't got a leg to stand on. Go ahead and get to the trip, bro. Get it cracking. Exodus chapter one, verse one. Now these are the names of the children of Israel, which came into Egypt. Every man and his household came with Jacob. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. Issachar. Zebulun and Benjamin, Dan and Naphtali, Gad and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already. This is the history of how our forefathers got down into Egypt and how we became slaves in Egypt. All right, come on brother. And Joseph died and all his brethren and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. Sound familiar? <laughs> Don't we increase abundantly even today? Don't we get our fruit on? <laughs> yeah, we're sociable people. These Israelites gonna have sex, man. They gonna have them some sex. It's just what it is, man. It's in our blood, right? It's just, a, it's just an order into how we have it. You know what I'm saying? We can have sex, but it's an order to it. Righteous order. Come on, bro. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty. See that, they were saying war captives in that book. War captives, feel me, made it possible for the Egyptians to build their treasure cities. Come on, brother. And waxed exceeding mightily, and the land was filled with them. Flat out, come on. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, uh. which knew not Joseph. Uh. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Man, these, these Negroes are multiplied beyond number. Mm, we gotta do something. We gotta do something. Cause they gonna, they gonna overrun us if we don't. What Come, on. Happening Come on, brother, sound familiar, don't sound it? Right familiar. right here in the United States of America. That, no wonder they got a pyramid on the dollar. Right, right. <laughs> Dang, you got a pyramid on the back of your dollar bill, huh? No wonder Come on, brother. Inside. Verse 10. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they are falling out any war, they join also unto our enemies. See that, so now this is ancient birth control put in effect by not the white man. Take it, count. See that, 
ancient Pharaoh in them. Dark is you. You see that? Because they knew we was a different nation than them. So this is ancient birth control that went down uh. even back in ancient Egypt, African Egypt. Uh. Like today you got your Planned Parenthood and your condoms uh. and then all this madness, birth control, morning after pill. And you think it's good, but you don't even know these are these are designs by the enemy to keep you from multiplying, to Not take up. you down as a nation. Not up. All right, come on, brother. They join also our, our enemies and fight against us, and so get them out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. What? Taskmasters. Uh, slave masters. Woo. Come on, brother. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them uh. with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. And Ramses, like that picture we just showed you of chain war captives found in Ramses' tomb from the 19th dynasty. So we got the Bible matching up with a book that's not even the Bible. Flat out. Showing you that the Bible is an historical record of your people. Flat out. You are the children of Israel. And if you stick around, we're going to go into all the scriptures and show how. We started off and showed physical descriptions because we as a people been destroyed. Most of us don't have a biblical and ancient mind to read the Bible and understand because the Bible deals in ancient terminology. Right. It don't say America, it says Babylon the Great. It don't say America, it says you're going back into Egypt by way of ships. Ooh. But if you don't got the ancient mind or the ancient terminology to understand, you're going to be lost. You're going to be like, oh, that's just a good book with some historical truth to it. No, the whole thing is real. All right, come on, brother. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. <laughs> sound, sound familiar? The more crap they put in the hood, the more Planned Parenthood they put in the hood, we still increasing and multiplying. Oh, and, if you, and if you check the statistic, more so-called white people died last year than was born. Uh. But you steady multiplying. Uh. <laughs> huh? Because you descend from these people right here in Exodus. These people in the book, you are the children of Israel. If somebody was to ask you your nationality. Notice we say anything about a color. Nope. It just so happened we are dark-skinned people. But color is not race. If somebody asks you your nationality and you still reaching for a crayon out the Crayola box, you're lost. You're you, got, you got Indians blacker <laughs> than <lost>. us. <laughs> you got Indians blacker than us, but they are not prejudiced against like we are. Right. Come on, brother. Verse 12. The more they afflicted them and the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. They got a Negro problem. Yeah. <laughs> and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Uh -huh. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. Gee, so before we became slaves to the so-called white man here in America, our forefathers were slaves in Egypt. That's where all the slavery started. That's where it started. Ancient Egypt. We are to tell you that's where you descend from. The first captivity. With the first captivity, and guess what? Even the last. We right here. Our whole, our whole history is a, is a, is a cycle. In slavery, out of slavery. Back in slavery, out of slavery. Except this time, the Redeemer is on his way to redeem his people. Forever. Forever and from their sins, their crimes against his father. That's why it's important for you to accept Christ, but get that white image out your mind. That is not Christ, that's, that's the Caesar devil. B. That's the devil, meaning it was there to deceive you. Caesar B, huh? <laughs> Finish this off, brother. Verse 14. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them to serve was with rigor. Uh -huh. That means hard bondage, like your back was whipped, like you was told get in the bottom of that slave ship, pick that cotton, sun up to sundown for pennies. And then when they so-called emancipate you Negroes, they allowed you to become a sharecropper. You're going to share some crops with these heathens. And so you're taking a step forward and two steps backwards. That's right. Flat it was out. never set up for you to be successful. Flat out. Huh? they like, oh, okay, yeah, since you don't know how to do nothing else but pick cotton, we're going to go ahead and, and share these crops right here. And guess what? You're going to owe us more. When you right? get done. When you get done, you still going to owe us. <laughs> huh? Come on now. Let's get it, bro. Today it's called National Rent to Own. We're 48 guys at a mule <laughs> Come on, brother. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of the one was Shifra, and the name of the other, Pua. And he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, 
Say it again. Uh -huh. If it be a son, right. uh, then ye shall kill him. See that? So why? So go into the psychological, diabolical mindset of your enemy. Why is he saying a son? Why mm, is think, he saying a son? Think about it. The men carry the seed. They are the strength. You descend from your father. Your father determines the race, aka nationality and sex of the child. You are your father's seed. So they like, look, get rid of all the men, and then we can impregnate the women, and then we can raise our seeds from these women and indoctrinate them under our gods. Uh. That's what it come down to. That's why you was raped back in antebellum south. That's why you was done the way you was done. Why? Because it's always been a hit on the black men. You feel me? Whether it was back in Egypt or whether it's here in America. Get rid of the men. And that's why you see it today. Section 8, oh yeah, you can do all that, sister. Better not be a man. Better not be a Timberland in the house. That's right. You see that? Because they know without the men, we can never raise a righteous nation. But when they subsidize farmers, the men can stay. Okay, bro? But when they subsidize farmers, the men can stay. Right. But when they get on Section 8 with black people, the man can't stay. Right. Why is that? Why is that? Because they know what they do back then. To take a nation down, you got to get rid of the men. You got to get rid of the men. And show you that we descend from our fathers. Grab, hold that. Grab numbers 1 and 18 for me real quick. Numbers 1 and 18. You descend from your father. You descend from your fathers. Well, that's why it says Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your forefathers. Trip off how you was reckoned by genealogy. Come on, brother. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. See that? According to the house of their fathers. So oh. you, in order to cut these people off from being a nation, chop the men. Right? So we showing you what went down in ancient Egypt goes down even today in America. Showing you that the devil's a spirit. He was on, his seat was in Egypt on Pharaoh. Like his seat is here in America. And at the UN and at the Vatican, no matter where it be. That's right. You see that? So that's what we had today. So what we're here to tell you is that ye are the children of the book. And that your redeemer is on the way and he would not keep silent. He would not keep silent. The Lord has not forgotten what has happened to us. But we must turn to him and repent. What's that Leviticus you want to pull? 26. Let's get on to Leviticus 26. Let's show him what we're talking about. And, my, and it's mighty funny when the Lord was born, Jesus the Christ. Uh, when he was born, same, same thing, same, same thing happened. I'm going to read 16 and 17 again real quick. And he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Verse 17, but the midwives feared God. Mm. and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, mm. but save the men children alive. See that, because the spirit of God was on them, so they like, oh no, that's not about to happen. Because if you wipe all the men out, you wipe the nation out. Hence, get the men about the house. Planned Parenthood is not about building up families. Child support is not about supporting children. Father support system is not about supporting fathers. It's about getting the men out the household because without the men, you would never have a righteous nation. Without the men. I just saw this Leviticus 26. 